Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kat for those of you who are new. In today's video, I'm sure you guys could see what I'm doing. The OG what's in my bag. I don't even know if a lot of people watch these videos anymore. My neighbors are having a party right now, so I'm hoping that music isn't being picked up. Thank you guys for sticking around. I know I haven't really been consistent, but I'm trying to change that, I swear. Yeah, a lot has happened within the past few months. Like, I recently got engaged in July. I actually did a Q&A with my fiance, but I haven't had the chance to edit that. But before we look into my bag, this video is in partnership with Ana Luisa. They were so kind to give me three new jewelry pieces to add to my collection, and I've been a long-time customer. I've shopped with them back in COVID days. I think that's when I first heard about them, when I was watching a channel that was promoting a collaboration with them. I'm really excited that they reached out to me as well to do this video. I have a lot of affordable non-tarnished jewelry. They all came in this teal pouch with this magnetic closure. Very cute, very cute. Please excuse my nails also. I haven't had them done since I think July. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely need to get my nails done but Anyway, the first piece that I got is called M. So they're these cute little teardrop hoop earrings, crystals. I kind of have a hard time describing jewelry, but this was the second item that they sent me. It's called Lucy. So it's pretty much floral crystals. Can you see that? Floral crystals and it's a gold bracelet so very very cute i love bracelets i feel like that's a really nice accessory to wear lastly okay i haven't worn them out yet but they are the silver heart earrings i'm more of a gold gal but i wanted to try out silver to see how that works for me and i'll be going on vacations coming up so i'll probably pack this and try it out and then if i don't like it then maybe i'll give it to myla my cousin because she loves silver so oh and i'm also wearing these earrings too these are called the abbey hoop earrings i believe but these are one of my favorite earrings that i got anna luisa was so kind to give a discount code for you guys to use choco cat 20 I'll leave my link down below and let's go ahead and get into what's in my bag. <laughs> this bag is a Vivian Westwood, vintage Vivian Westwood bag. So I purchased this from Grailed. It has this large gold emblem of their logo. It has like a gold zipper detail with the logo also. The leather details throughout this canvas bag. So I feel like it's very durable for everyday use. So love this so this is a used bag so i purchased it knowing that it was used it has some scratches on the gold emblem i'm not sure if you can see that and there was a large stain that was in the lining but honestly i didn't really mind because i feel like you're just throwing things in here anyways i've been using this every day so if you follow me on instagram i'm sure you've been seeing that i'm wearing this bag a lot it's easy to wear because it's just like crossbody and I love Vivian Westwood. So first things first is this OxyClean pen. This is an essential. I'm sure you guys all know. I'm very clumsy myself. Whenever I eat, I always tend to spill food on myself. So this is very handy to have in your bag. This will save you. I'm just gonna place everything here. I'm probably gonna make a mess, but whatever. Okay, next thing is my Aquaphor ointment. So I use this for my lips. Pretty much this is my lip balm. The only thing is I know that this doesn't have SPF, so I know that that's not the best with uh, protecting my lips from sun exposure. I also have that issue where I get cracks at the corners of my lips. This has been the only thing that's been helping my dry, crusty ass lips. So if you guys have any recommendations for something that's like this, but also has the SPF protection, let me know because this is just what I've been using for lip balm, so. I guess maybe I'll keep it within the same range since I did say that I have eczema prone skin. I have one of these travel containers that I bought off Target and I filled it with the CeraVe moisturizing cream. When I had a really bad eczema flare up two months ago, I used the CeraVe ointment cream and that was the only thing that really helped with my sensitive skin. And during that time too, I didn't want to use steroids. I don't know. I was just scared about TSW and I was seeing that all over TikTok, but that's another topic within itself. So another cream that I have inside my bag to just help with my eczema, dry, prone skin. 
this. I also have this. This is just a travel size Dove deodorant. Just refreshing your pits when it's smelling a little stanky. <laughs> so this is my current sunscreen. I'm sure you guys have heard about it. It's the Beauty of Joseon. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. But Beauty of Joseon. So this is the sunblock that I use my, on my face and on my neck. I love this a lot. I really like the consistency. And a funny story is I actually bought on Amazon, but I'm pretty sure it was a dupe. When I bought it from the seller and then I compared the cream to the cream that my cousins had, it was a different consistency. And the tube was a little bit different too, so I have a feeling I got the wrong one the first time around. This time I bought it off of the Beauty of Joseon website because, yeah, I don't know. I have no idea what happened. So lastly, another skincare thing. This is the Tower 28 SOS Rescue Serum, and it's helped with my skin barrier a lot. My eczema flare-up, this was really handy. Yeah, they were nice. Very nice, very nice. I'm going to move on to my lip products now. I'm not really the type of person to wear makeup a lot, but if I do, the only thing that I do is my eyebrows, maybe mascara, and then I just throw on a lip color, and then that's that. Um, I don't really wear foundation, but that's just because I've been going through a lot of skin issues. But I do love putting on makeup. I miss it. So I love having lip options. So I'm usually carrying maybe like two or three different lip products. In this case, I have three. Oh no, in this case, I have four. And I guess I'll might as well swatch it for you guys so that you guys can see. But the first one is from a Filipino brand called Sunny's Face. And this is a lipstick in the shade Brunette. I really love their packaging because it's very minimalistic. It's just like a brown nude color. Swatch. Really beautiful. I love the consistency of Sunny's face lipsticks because they're very moisturizing and very like velvety. So love that. So this is from M Cosmetics and it's in the shade Vintage Rosewood. I've had this for years. I probably need like an updated one. Here's the swatch. It's like a dark rose type of color. Very pretty. Other M Cosmetics lip products. So this is their Lip Do in the shade T. This one is more of lighter color on my complexion. It's like a nice gloss over my lips. Been loving this one too. I need to get this in different shades. And as you can see, I'm a huge fan of M Cosmetics. So that's why I have a lot of those products. And lastly, this is a new lip product that I've been trying from the brand Refi. A lip liner. But it's like a two-in-one product you can open from both sides so you can see here so that's the shade of the lip liner it's just a nice nude i think you guys can see the color story that i usually like to wear on my lips and there's also a gloss at the bottom that helps set in the lip liner i haven't worn it too much but it's nice you know just to have like a lip liner in your bag oh i have one more lip product <laughs> from the brand Paula's Choice. So this is the Hyaluronic Acid and Peptide Lip Booster with Squalene. Got a recommendation from my cousin Myla. Shout out to you, Myla. I like this one because it has this metal applicator at the top. I feel like it has this cooling effect. So this is also nice to use when you have like dry skin. So this one does help hydrate my lips, but I still prefer to use the Aquaphor. I think I have another makeup item this is from Charlotte Tilbury. Full Fat Lashes 5 Star Mascara. And here's the wand. So next is this cute little crochet clip that I got from a local store when I went out to a market. You can see that she made it herself. Up your hair. Very nice. Very cute. I also have this bottle opener. <laughs> so this was just a gift that my fiance's parents gave to me while they were in Lake Tahoe. So cute little bottle opener. If you need me to open a bottle, I got you. <laughs> so this. This is a really nice essential thing I feel like everyone should have in their bag and I'd never really thought about it. All-in-one eye drops from the brand Roto. I bought this a couple months ago. It was like a three pack on Amazon. I just never thought about, you know, when you have irritated eyes or when you have allergies and your eyes are red or itchy, you can just put in eye drops and then it helps reduce the redness. I feel like this is something that a lot of people should have, but people don't really think about it. This is good to have. 
a cute little travel perfume the Burberry Herb Blossom this has been my scent for a couple of years now and I've kind of been wanting to look for a new scent if you have any recommendations let me know down below would love to hear it what's your go-to scent what is your perfume that you wear on the daily let me know all right okay next I have pads if you know you know when it's that time of the month it's good to have pads portable charger that I got from Amazon it's also a flashlight there's no battery but it's also a flashlight <laughs> and it's also a fan so when I went to like oh it works it does work when I went to Coachella I brought this fan basically this is just a three-in-one product this is really good to have while you're traveling so would recommend I have hand sanitizer as you guys know ever since COVID I always carry hand sanitizer so this is some shades so I got this from the brand Vela eyewear really nice it's just black frames with brown lenses so my go-to sunglasses recently what else I have a pen it's always nice to have a pen I have wipes it's good to have wipes so when you go to the bathroom you have wipes and I also have this YSL wallet my boyfriend my boyfriend <laughs> he's not my boyfriend he's my fiance now <laughs> I'm still getting used to that my fiance gifted this to me for I think it was Christmas or my birthday it has all my cards ID all those basics in here and receipts <laughs> I'm getting to the bottom of the bag now I forgot to put my phone in my bag but usually my phone is in my bag and this is my phone currently it's a cute little Sailor Moon with this wristlet and these black pink keychains that were given to me on BART by other fellow Blinks really cute they were just handing out this keychain along with their business card so that was really cute and if i'm vlogging then i'm also bringing my vlog camera or if i'm doing film photography then i have my film camera as well and of course this cute little anna luisa pouch that can hold my jewelry i guess i'll show you the bottom of my bag so you guys can see the stain that i was talking about can you see it actually i don't know if the ring light is washing it out but there's a stain at the bottom of the bag which i'm not really bothered by to be honest because like i said i just use it on the go so it's not that big of a deal those are the items that were in my bag let me know if you guys have any recommendations on what are other good things to put in your bag that maybe i missed i'm really nosy so i like to know what other people have thank you guys so much for watching thank you again to anna luisa for partnering with me in this video be sure to click my link down below and use that 20 percent off discount code chococat20 i'll see you guys in the next video Bye!